All right, guys, listen up. I think we should have made this episode our Halloween special because the two little dogs we have in today are nothing but scary. Okay, this one wants to go first. I'm thinking this one's Oreo. That's Murphy. Oh, it's Murphy, all right. Hi, Murphy. Let's do the smell test. Hi, right, well, he doesn't smell so bad. Ah! Cheese. I'd say it's a miracle Murphy passed the smell test today, but he's definitely not passing the matting test and he's gonna need to get shaved down. Norma's gonna jump in straight away with the sharpest blade we can find. This guy's going down to a 10. That's short, and that's because that matting is right to the skin, and it's the only way to get under it safely and remove it. With dogs in this condition, I'm guessing it's probably been about a year since these guys have been groomed. Sometimes when you get a dog on the table and they fidget like this, it's a pretty good indicator on top of that that they don't often get groomed. They're just not used to it, so they're dancing around. An ideal schedule for a Shih Tzu mix like these guys is going to be anywhere from six to eight weeks. We're just kicking our new rug all over the floor. Oreo can't help but trample on it. Now, this might look a little aggressive, but it, Murphy's actually just yanking his head away. We have to hold him by the chin, gently of course, to keep him in place while we trim around his eyes and his nose. Believe it or not, those might be the only two spots on his body that aren't matted. Now we're racing the clock because we have two dogs in here and we didn't realize they'd be in this shape, so we gotta get them done pretty quickly. That means onto the nail trim. Today we're clipping only, usually we Dremel, but because the guys aren't used to grooming, it's sometimes best to skip the Dremel. It can feel a little weird and it just makes them a bit jittery. Now Murphy's nails are long, especially that dew claw, but they're nothing compared to Oreos. You'll have to hang on and see those later in the video. Here, Norm is using a 15 blade to do an underpad scoop. Believe it or not, he's got matting between his toes. The big yikes. That sanitary is very stinky. And here goes his Brazilian. Of course, you want to avoid stinkiness and matting near the groin because it can actually bring on urinary tract infections. Ugh. Don't worry, we always disinfect the blade when we go from groin to face. She's just off in her own little world today. And now for Murphy, we're gonna grab our dirty dog shampoo because boy is he a freaking dirty dog. Maybe we should just dump the whole container on him. He's not so sure about the hose. I think, again, it's probably been a while since he's even felt any moisture on his body. You know the rain's not getting to his skin through that matting. And since we have a clean little dog, we're going to need a clean little table to work off of. Again, we're moving fast. We got to get the Oreo still. Murphy's getting a blow dry with the high velocity dryer, which he's tolerating pretty well. Oh, little fly by mop there. I mean, since he has no hair, that blow dry went pretty fast. We're gonna pull out our 10 blade once more and get to work on his final haircut.
As you can see, it's already a huge improvement from when he first walked in, looking like a whole new dog. Oreo cannot wait for her turn on the table. As usual, we finish off the legs and hard to reach areas with uh, just a bit of a scissor trim. I think Murphy here is gonna make those little girly dogs blush. All right, just to send him out smelling good, we're gonna spray him with our blueberry clove cologne. And he's got his little bandana on to finish him off. I don't even know if uh, Oreo here recognizes her own family member, but it's her turn up next and we gotta get started. She stinks. We got a long road ahead of us. As you can see, her breath is not smelling the freshest. She's an older dog. She's got a lot of tartar and buildup, which mom should probably address. But for now, we're gonna get her cleaned up. Mask included. Unfortunately, Norma here is not a doggy orthodontist because boy, does she need some of those puppies plucked. Starting with the sphincter, you gotta let it breathe. And as we clip, you can see that her skin has some dandruff. Typically, we see this on dogs with matting because their skin is just not getting enough oxygen. There's no, no room to breathe down there. I wonder if he's just checking in on his big sister here. Whoa, those ears are looking like a motor oil spill. We're gonna clean them out with some ear cleaner and then we're gonna do a little plucking. Here we pluck some stray hairs out of the ear canal to avoid it from growing in further and creating gross, stinky little hairballs in there. As I mentioned, those nails are long. It has been a real long time since this gal has had a nail trim, so we're gonna get to work. Of course, you don't wanna let your dog's nails get anywhere near the slime because uh, it actually can affect their walk, um, which means that their back can get affected, their hips can get out of whack. It's just all around uncomfortable. Okay, it's time for her to move on to the tub. For Oreo, we're gonna pull out our Hot Spot Anti-Itch Shampoo. Just cause she's got some dandruff, I think it's gonna feel pretty good on her skin. Now the shampoo is smoothing. It smells like tea tree oil. It's great for dogs with hot spots and other itchy skin problems. And just like Murphy before her, Oreo is heading on the table. We got her happy hoodie on her and she's gonna get blow dried. You can see some nervous shaking and wiggling. She's not really used to this, but it's not hurting her in any way. Oreo's doing a little tippy tappy dance. Norma's just scissoring some spots that she missed with the clippers around uh, Oreo's feet. Get them cleaned up. Oh, 
very fidgety dog. You can see Norma's got her look of concentration on while she works around her face. And she's done. Oreo's getting what we call a comfort groom today. That's because she's an older dog, so she may not look totally perfect, but she's clean, she's trimmed. That's what matters. Murphy says, who is that? Little Minx. Wow, wow. All right, I think these two are feeling better. They got a little pet back in their step and they are ready to zip on back home to mom. We got them on a regular schedule now, so they should be good to go for next time. Until then, you can check out another video here or hit subscribe. See ya.